As a metabolic scientist, when I talk about burning energy or burning fat, there's almost something that is literal to that process. If you think about a, a fire, you put on fuel to that fire, you put on a piece of wood, and it needs oxygen. Oxygen is feeding the flame. That is why we say that uh, the mitochondria will burn energy because it requires oxygen, just like a campfire does, but it also requires a fuel. What are you actually going to burn? What are you going to break apart and get energy? On a campfire, you're getting heat. Within a cell, you get some heat, but you also just get some work. You know, a muscle cell, for example, needs to work. It needs to be able to move. So some of what we're burning in this metabolic campfire is being transferred or translated into work. But there's still this part of the campfire which is just creating heat. And in a fat cell, if you have a fat cell that can just burn more energy, not because it needs to do more work, because fat cells don't work much, but because it's creating more heat, now you have a fat cell that is much more inclined to start shrinking much faster. And that matters because it's the size of the fat cells that matter most when it comes to metabolic health.